WB Survivor Series 2023, they worked everyone. Not only did we get a Randy Orton return, but we got a CM Punk return. 2023 just keeps getting better. Several weeks after CM Punk was released by AEW, after countless reports, report after report after report saying that WB was not going to bring CM Punk back. They had no interest. Vince McMahon, Nick Khan, Triple H, them all. He he wasn't coming back. CM Punk did. So let's let's break this down. Wow. A lot of people in shock on social here, including myself. It opened with the women's war games match. Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Charlotte Flair, and Shotzi defeated Damage Control, meaning Asuka, Bailey, Io Sky, and Kari Sane. It ended when the Lynch hit the manhandle slam to Bailey through a table for the win. Gunther retained the IC title over the Miz in a very good match. Miz had a few near falls where he kicked him in the nuts a few times, and uh, but in the end, Gunther tapped him out with the Boston Crab. Dragon Lee Santos Escobar in Dragon Lee's main roster PLE debut fell to Santos when Escobar hit a Canadian Destroyer and then a Falcon Arrow for the win. Rhea Ripley retained the Women's World Championship over Zoe Stark in a good match that I thought it went a little too long. It happened when Ripley hit the Riptide for the win. And the most newsworthy thing to come out of WB in all of 2023, except for Vince McMahon's return and the acquisition by Endeavor Group, and then the merger with the UFC and the formation of TKO Holdings Group, is Randy Orton making his return after months of being on the sidelines with a fusion back surgery to team with Sami Zayn, Jey Uso, Cody Rhodes, and to take on the Judgment Day of Finn Balor, Damian Priest, Dominic Mysterio, Drew McIntyre, and J.D. Madonna. Heck of a match. Heck of a match. It ended when Rhodes hit the crossroads to Priest for the win. And Randy Orton looked jacked. He looked great. He looked like he didn't miss a beat. Didn't, Didn't miss a beat in the ring with any of his moves. He celebrates with the baby faces. They throw up the graphic of they're going to the press conference. That's my cue of, okay, whenever they whenever they do that, it's okay. There's been countless reports. Punk's not returning, right? And then all of a sudden, cult of, cult of personality hits and out wants CM Punk. And he celebrates with the fans. New hairstyle. One of the most unforgettable nights in my career covering pro wrestling. And fandom. Just wow. 